So that is probably not even 10% of my total model airplane collection. Those are die cast collectible airplanes. You wanna hear something stupid? <laughs> I was adding this up the other day. I have about $8,000 worth of these airplanes. Um, there's a reason I collect them and I'm gonna start making videos on that. They're probably, those videos might be geared to a different market to the guys that, that collect these airplanes. There's a reason I collect them, but uh, man, that's a lot of money in model airplanes. Anyway, I'm Mark Princess Taylor. I'm building a Zenith Cruiser, and this video is about the Cruiser. All right, first thing on the agenda, I have guys coming over later today to help me remove the wings from the airplane. Until they come over, I wanted to organize my Clecos. So I have three different uh, white containers, and I made a file on my computer, and I cut them out on my vinyl graphics cutter. This is the same way I design sticker files if you've seen them on aircraftstickers.com. But I just send them to my vinyl graphics cutter. It cuts out the file that I have. I have a silver one, a black one, and a, a copper colored one. I slice this part off and I take it, usually my kitchen because it's a nice big flat area. Peel off the, the part that's not part of the sticker. Peel out anything else I need, like the, the part inside the R or any of the other letters. After that, there's a top that goes on. So that's carefully placed on because you don't want any air bubbles in between these layers so that's uh that's why i start from the center and squeegee outward that removes the air bubbles and it uh it gets this sticking pretty good once that's done i just take a straight edge and a razor blade <clears throat> i cut the whole thing out just like i would any of my stickers once uh that's done then uh actually i peel off the back now so that back layer comes off and you're left with a real sticky side that's why it's reversed right here. And then the trick is to put it on the container nice and straight. So you'll see in a second here, I got it almost perfect, but it's a hair off. Um, so anyway, I just uh, worked it around until it, it stuck. It was a little tricky because uh, the vinyl kind of didn't want to stick to the container. But with a lot of careful pulling off, I got the top layer off and you're left with just the vinyl on, on the outside of the container. There we go, it's almost all off now. And you'll see the two edges, see how they don't line up absolutely perfectly? It means I put it on just a hair crooked, but it doesn't really matter, it's just a container. Anyway, here they are, here's my three containers, black, silver, and copper colored. It's just a nice way to organize the Clecos. It looks good on the workbench. So the next thing up is the, uh, the airplane update. The wings are pretty much all done. This left wing is done. I did have a big space in between the wingtip and the aluminum in the front. So that uh, yellowish greenish area you're seeing there is epoxy resin mixed with a bunch of fillers. And that's put in there. Then I took the wingtip off and sanded it to shape and uh, it worked pretty well. It fills that, that gap up nicely. Right wing tip is all done. I think the right wing tip is actually looks a little nicer than the left. Everything's been removed from the interior, getting the fuselage ready for paint. And the wings, this is all done here. You guys have seen these fiberglass fairings before. I do need to countersink the fiberglass just a little bit more so these screws sit flush. Well, here's the latest status. The wings are now removed. And I took the wings off because I need to start building my new doors. If you guys have seen in my builder's log that's uh, listed on zenithowner.com, I had the fiberglass doors, they were all installed, and when I went in to put the, the latch mechanisms in, just nothing fit like it should. Everything was binding. Uh, the other thing I didn't like was the back of the door kind of stuck out pretty far from the side of the fuselage. But other than that, the doors fit really nice. But it was at that point I decided to go with the new style doors. It was a tough decision to do because um, they're not cheap. But also, it's a lot of work because all these rivets along the seal here or the, the lip or side of the fuselage have to be drilled out. That has to be drilled out. This thing has to be, dr or not drilled out, but unscrewed and taken off, which is actually gonna be kind of hard to do because there's fuel lines right behind there. So I'm hoping I can get to the nut. 
I never anticipated having to take those off, so that nut behind here that's holding that on is actually going to be pretty difficult to get to. But anyway, with the wings off, I can, uh, I can now work on these doors. All these pieces get replaced, and as you can see, it's, not, it's going to be pretty easy because I haven't rivet the, riveted those on. Once I get the doors on and these pieces on, I'll finish installing this wind, or the top window. And I have to finish the cowling. This is my second cowling I got because the first one fits so poorly. So I'm hoping this one fits a little bit better. But all I did was kind of get it started and then I moved on to other things. So I have to finish that up. That's what's going on with the fuselage. Not much do is happening in the paint booth. And as you can see, I've taken the wings off here and they're laying on the ground. So this wing is done and ready to go. This wing here is mostly done, but I have not riveted on this inboard skin yet. And I have to, on both wings, I have to open this hole up to the correct size. And this wing, it'll be pretty easy to do because the skin is not riveted on. Uh, that wing might be a little bit harder because I've already put on that skin. So maybe I should have waited. Um, I'll probably have to do it with an angle drill. But anyway, I need to open up these holes and then everything's done in here, ready to be buttoned up. But I still have to order this grommet from Zenith to put in there, so I'll wait till I get that. Um, yeah, so other than that, the wings are done and they're ready to uh, start prepping for paint. So I got these new doors delivered probably about a month ago and they've been sitting in my doorway here just because I didn't need them in the hangar. So now that the wings are off and I can start working on these doors, let's move these into the hangar and unpack them. That was a hassle. You know how in my earlier videos I was always complaining that my hangar is freezing cold? Well now it's beginning of August and it is super hot in here. I'm already sweating. Let's look at the thermostat here and see what it is, or the thermometer. If you could see, it's, well, it's only 78 degrees. Surprisingly, it feels a lot hotter than that, but it's, it's pretty humid too. So here's what I'm doing. I have this table here, which is just a four by four sheet of wood sitting on a little metal cart. And then there's my doors right there. So I'm gonna unpack everything from the box and put it on the table just to get it organized. All right, so everything's unpacked and laying on a table here. And as typical from Zenith, everything is packed really nicely. I have no idea what any of these parts are, but I'm gonna open them up and see. And look at that, magically everything is unpacked. So these are all the parts for the doors. I, I understand that it's quite a job to build these doors, so not sure if I'm looking forward to this or not, but here's all the parts. Anytime you guys buy an airplane or kit airplane or parts, I know that's upside down, uh, they always include an inventory sheet and it's always a good idea to check your parts against the inventory sheet just to make sure everything is there. My plan for these doors is to build the first door myself and then I plan on filming the second door from start to finish. So do me a favor, leave a comment down below if you want me to film that. It's a lot of work to film and build, and if nobody's particularly interested in seeing how the doors are built, then I won't bother filming it. But 
Uh, it may help people if, if you're thinking about buying the new style doors or if you have the doors and you haven't built yours yet. So let me know if that's something I should do, if it's something you wanna see. As always guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, doesn't matter, whatever you like or don't like. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.